Welcome to Dragon's Wisdom. I'm Sarah Jane. This message is from Daktari, the dragon that guards over the earth crystal Aquapraise. Relationships. It takes two or more for a relationship. Or does it? Does the relationship with yourself, should that be where it all starts? How much do you love and care about yourself? How much do you consider yourself? How much do you become aware of your feelings, of your actions, and why those actions may occur? Do you ever look back on your childhood and on other relationships that you have witnessed to see where some of your traits may come from. Have you ever considered whether those traits serve you well? Have you outgrown them? Do you feel you are someone more than those? Do you listen to your heart? Or are you controlled by your mind and thoughts of fear? Relationships start with the relationship you have with yourself, the respect you have for yourself. When you are in a perfect or near perfect relationship with yourself, then you can truly build relationships with others. And when in relationships with others, do you judge them? Or are you open to witness maybe the upbringing that they had, watching their families, their parents, reactions and interactions with each other? To know maybe why they are as they are, just as the way you are because of your upbringing, the learned behaviours. If you are in a marriage and maybe things aren't as perfect as you would have hoped, first look at your own upbringing. Were there things when you were younger that you thought, I would never do that or be like that or treat someone like that? If there were, have you honoured that thought? Or do you find yourself acting and reacting in the way that you witnessed when you were younger. By looking at a partner's family, can you see where possible aspects of their behaviour originate? And if they are aspects 
that you are uncomfortable with. Remember, you teach people how to treat you with what you put up with and what you accept. If you are unhappy and uncomfortable, you should say so. Conversations, calm conversations can really support relationships to work better. Your friendship, your love is there because you fell in love. And there is no reason for you to fall out of love if the traits that concern you about yourself and others can be looked at and modified or changed to the benefit of all, especially you. Remember, you all have different experiences. You are brought up in different families, different religions, different cultures. You have different perceptions and understandings. It is finding the common ground that supports you all to live fully on your own and with each other. After all, we are all connected. Yes, we the dragons, all the mythical beings, the angels, the archangels, creator, mother earth, and you all humans, all animals, we are all connected. The more love you show yourself, the more love you can bring to others and to the group as a whole. Namaste, sweet soul.